Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel, Intelligible Tutorials. This uh, subject we are discussing here is Information Retrieval Systems. Already I completed few videos based on this. Now this is the next video uh, on Information Retrieval Systems. Now let us see what are the important concepts that I am going to describe in this particular video. Okay, so as uh, described in the previous videos, we have already seen that the functional overview of the information retrieval systems. So this is the functional overview. Whenever an item is given as the input, then the particular item can get normalized. This feature is called as the item normalization. And this item normalization is divided into again three different types. That is selective dissemination of information, document file creation and uh, automatic, sorry. And the automatic file build, this one. So, all these are the various components of the item normalization. In the previous video, I told about the item normalization clearly. And now we are going to discuss about the next components after that uh, item normalization. And now, see now, the, what is the meaning of the item normalization? Once again, I will give some information regarding this. Uh, just uh, see. Item normalization is nothing but uh, putting all the items whatever you want to set into some kind of the standardized format. For example, alphanumeric can put in one kind of the standardized format like Unicode format. Okay, the universally acceptable format that is. And some uh, other kind of the multimedia objects will be there. Those can be normalized in the form of standard forms like MPG, JPG, GIF and uh, BMP like some standard formats. And we put some logical reconstruction of the items into some standard formats. So this feature is called as item normalization. The next, the next part is nothing but selective dissemination distribution of the information. Look at this diagram. The here, this first one is selective dissemination of information. Okay. So what is the selective dis dissemination of information? Okay, so it dynamically compares whatever the items that are newly received items, it compares those dynamically items uh, against the uh, existing items. Okay, and whatever the items that matches those items, what he searches, the user searches and those matched items only display to the user and deliver to the user. That is the selective dissemination of the information. The best example is nothing but mailing. Okay, so... Uh, whatever uh, newly received items will be there, uh, these newly received items are uh, compared with the available items. So, whenever the match perfectly is there, then it delivers those items to the respective user who intended for search. This feature is called as selective dissemination. Okay, so after selective dissemination, we have the document database search. Okay. So, what is the meaning of the document database search now? We are going to see. Document database search process uses a query to search all the items. Okay. It uses some kind of the database search process. Okay. These queries are normally the ad hoc queries uh, which are written in the structured English language which are thrown by the user and the system can handle those queries and deliver the information whatever the user asked or whatever the user intended. Okay, so which are uh, whenever the data is stored in the database, based on the queries, the data will be delivered to the respective user who performed search based on that. That is nothing but document database search. So what is the meaning of the document database search? In the document database search, the user can process, uh, the user can uh, process his search based on some ad hoc uh, structured English queries. So whenever the information is available within the database, that particular information will be given to the respective user who intended to particular information. This feature is called as the document database search. Next, index database search. We are going to discuss about the index database search. Index database search is also one kind of the search procedure, searching procedure, which working on the two classes of the index files. These two classes are called as public index files and private index files. So what are the public index files now? See, in the library, all the indexing, all the books are kept in the order. This order is called as indexing. So this indexing of the all the files, all the books are 
publicly accessible. Such a kind of the indexes are called as library file indexes which are publicly accessible. So the best example of public index files are nothing but the library files where the index is correctly provided. The next one is nothing but private index files. So what is the meaning of the private index files? These are not publicly available as the library files because these are designed in a way into to provide the accessibility for some number of the users only. So limited number of the users only. So that's why these are called as limited access indexes or limited access lists. So this is the name given to the private index files. Okay. So the index database search, the files are two types, public index files and private index files. Next one, multimedia database search. So what is the thing is there in the multimedia database search? In the multimedia database search, you are searching for multimedia objects. Okay, whenever you are searching the multimedia objects, multimedia data is not only logically has its own structure. Okay, it is, uh, here is an augmentation that it is for the existing structures in the information retrieval. So, we can perform the search based on some standard formats. Those are nothing but MPG, JPG, GIF and PMP. In the multimedia data, uh, we can search based on some standard formats only. So, based on the standard formats only, the items must be available. Because prior itself, we completed the item normalization. So, that's why based on the item normalization, the multimedia database search will be performed by using some standardized uh, formats of the multimedia items like uh, GIF, PMP, JPG, MP. Motion Pictures Experts Group for uh, Videos, Joint Pictures Experts Group for Pictures, mm. Graphical Interchange Format, this is also one kind of the movement pictures and bitmap image for pictures like that. So many number of the standardized formats are put in order for accessing the items from the information databases or multimedia databases. Right. The next one, relationship to database management systems. How information retrieval systems are related to the database management systems. In the database management systems, the data contain directly the structured data. But when coming to the information retrieval systems, the data will be stored in the structured and as well as some form of unstructured data also as we have previously discussed. Whenever we integrate the database management systems with the information retrieval systems, we are having three different kinds of the databases are used here. One is Inquire DBMS, the next one is Oracle DBMS and the third one is Convictus. These are the various kinds of the database servers which provide the accessibility of the database management systems as well as the information retrieval systems. And next we are going to talk about the digital libraries and data warehouses and data marts. So what is the thing we have seen? in the digital libraries, data warehouses and data marts. Coming to the point of the data warehouses, these are also store some kind of the structured information and they can store the data in the form of uh, cubes. Data, the warehouse is a structure of six phase cube structure where we can store entire data and organizational data can put in the data warehouses. We can mine the data according to our use and we can analyze the data and we can extract the relationships among the data and also we can find the dependencies also among the data. Okay, so data warehouse is also one of the storage unit of the data in multi-dimensional structure and we can store vast amount of the data when we compare it to the database management systems. But one thing here also it is focusing on the structured data and mainly designed to decision support systems. Okay. And here we need to talk about one more thing. What is the meaning of the data marts? Data marts are nothing but some parts of the data warehouses. The collection of the data marts we can call as the data warehouses. So it is possible to integrate the information retrieval systems along with the data warehouses also. If we process the information in the structured format. And the, but uh, that particular information can be retrieved and can be accessed and analyze the data 
and to find the relationships among the data and to find the dependencies of the data. So likewise, the information retrieval systems can relate to data warehouses, data marts and as well as database management systems. So like that we are having various kinds of the information retrieval system types. They can integrate, we can integrate with any one of the types. The only thing is we have to format the data. We have to structure, we have to make the data in the specialized formats. Okay, thank you. In the next coming videos, we will see some more things relevant to the information retrieval systems. Thank you one and all. Please subscribe our channel, Intelligible Tutorials. Thank you.